Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Miracle. Give me for short. If this is the first time seeing my beautiful face, you are welcome. So our next video is from Officer Tansom and it says, Plan Parenthood. Plan Parenthood claims virginity is needed. Like seriously. She must be insane. Like, and oppresses women about it. Guys, please don't rest. Don't don't listen to what people say. Oh. Don't listen to what people say. Oh. Forget some sometimes I know the media is good to listen to the media, it's good to go online to see things, to learn things. But there are some things that you will not take at heart. There are some things that you will not even believe. Because me too, it's not everything that sometimes I say on this on that I will believe. I was almost said virginity is just made up. Like seriously. Are you giving room for people to, to mess their life up or what? I don't get it. Hmm. Let's check this video out. Virginity. What is it? And what's the big deal about losing it? Let me cut to the chase. Virginity is a completely made up concept. It's a term that was created simply to control and shame people, mainly women. What? Increased pressure on Taiwan, North Korea on the brink, Iran increased aggression. There is a lot of global instability as we plunge into election season. How have you sheltered your savings and investments from potential major setbacks to the economy? It's not too late to diversify your old IRA or 401k into gold and Guys, I think society is getting dumber and dumber every day by the minute, hour. Seriously, I cannot, I cannot understand these people again. Like, I don't even know what's going on. I cannot understand them anymore. I just find all the stupidity of all these current work currently oppressive. Like, what is wrong with all this work culture? Yeah. See, um, virginity, virginity goes a long way. Oh. Hmm. Virginity helps a lot, though. Virginity makes someone to be to be in a conscious state. Virginity makes someone to stay put. Seriously. And I don't even know how to say the words to it. I'm just gonna say it. They will do anything to make your kids gay and trans. They will do anything to put your kids in the category of the LGBTQAARP. They will do anything. They will say anything. They'll publish anything. They'll justify anything. And then they'll gaslight the living out of you. If so happen, you call them out on their bluff. I mean, call them out on their stuff and show them proof. Virginity. Since the beginning of time. Adam and Eve beginning of time. There's been a thing called virginity. Everybody in their mama know that virginity is when you don't give yourself to another person sexually. And let me add to this. The reason why virginity is important because it's most conducive and best for a person to wait until they're matched with a person that's going to love them, take care of them, be with them, commit to them for the rest of their lives in order for them to give something so special over to another person. Now, we know we live in this world that we live in, and nobody does it except a few of y'all, and thank God that y'all exist still. However, this is the best way to teach and for people to learn. And if somebody wants to be uh, at the optimum of their success, this is what you should save. But the left wants your children to be promiscuous and for them to be ambiguous about everything. So they'll do anything. I hope to God this is a parody and it's not real. From all accounts, it appears to be real. Listen to what a, a Planned Parenthood sponsored video is telling young people. Roll the clip. Virginity. What is it? And what's the big deal about losing it? Let me cut to the chase. Virginity is a completely made up concept. It's a term that was created simply to control and shame people. Well, first of all, virginity started in the Bible and it wasn't to control or shame people. It was to help people understand and, and people understand this now, but they just don't want to admit to it. How many of y'all then went out and did it with, before you got married, and now you look back on it, what, what was the point? Heartbreak, 
kids out of wedlock, all kind of STDs, all kind of stuff didn't happen now. If you just listen to the, what the Lord said, it wouldn't have happened. Mainly women. Mm. A virgin is someone who's never had but it's not as simple as it seems. For one thing, medically, virginity isn't a real thing. In some cultures, people place a lot of importance on the hymen, a thin, fleshy tissue located at the opening of your virginity, as a marker of virginity. But the status of your hymen doesn't actually mean anything. That's because having penis vagina is not the only way a hymen can stretch open. It can happen by putting something in your vagina, like a tampon or a finger, riding a bike, or doing sports. So you can't tell if someone's had sex by the way their hymen looks. They ain't nobody worried about no hymens. I ain't never heard of nobody say nothing about no hymen. You know if you getting jiggy and having a, a, pow, a, a pair bond with another person. What's she talking about hymens and stuff? That ain't in America. Ain't nobody ever asked a girl, let me look at your hymen. Or whatever she just said. Ain't nobody said that ever. Who cares, bro? You know if you did it with somebody or not. Or feel. Another reason the idea of virginity is complete nonsense is that sex means different things to different people. Generally speaking, society tends to define sex in a very narrow way. Penetration. People that will make heaven are not few. People that will make heaven are few, I need to say. People. Now that they say, many are called but few are choosing. This is what the teacher is teaching. A teacher. But it's the, we know what that is. Whether you're the man or the woman, there's still one of those involved in it. And it is the purity of saving that for marriage. That's it. Then you can do it all you want. 400 million times if you can make if you can muster that much energy you can do all you want just with the person that love you and is married to you But where does that definition leave queer people or folks who can't or don't have penis and vagina sex? And choose to have oral or another type of sex instead Which is dangerous which is dangerous nasty and it could really cause a lot of issues if you ain't paying attention and not everyone's first sexual experience is consensual Meaning that they were forced or pressured into having pressured, pressured. There is also a double standard on who carries the burden of virginity. Society puts pressure on men for not having at the exact same time they shame women for having it. Make it make sense. Either way, shame has no place in someone's personal decisions about sex. It's time to throw away the notion of losing your virginity. What if instead of losing something, we reframe it as gaining? Because the truth is, when we make our own decision to become sexually active, we aren't setting ourselves up to lose anything at all. These people, like, I, I did, like, maybe she's a virgin. She don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how many people run into that sugar shack. I don't know. Maybe maybe you get you drunk one night. But at the end of the day, there's nothing to lose by choosing to have sex. Anybody who's, and I hope young people listen to this. A lot of times, if you're dating somebody and you guys do not become intimate, and you know what I'm saying, the breakup is a lot easier. A lot less investment into it, a lot less of a pair bond, which is a scientific term, and there's research that backs it up about people bonding with others through the intercourse situation. So there's a lot of that that goes on. You can lose a lot. You can lose your purity. You can get an STD, STI. They call it, oh, we only call it STDs. You can get pregnant, unwanted pregnancy. You could go down the list. You go down the list. It's a lot of things you can lose by making that decision. It's okay to talk to people about this, but tell them both sides of it. It can be the most wonderful thing that, that, that you have ever experienced, and it can be the most terrible thing that you've ever experienced. you got to balance it. Stop trying to make it sound all like, uh, uh, like it's all good. And all these women getting hurt, they're having too many sexual partners, men getting delusional, they doing too much, they, they, all these people broken trying to marry each other. It's all, it's all problematic if you don't teach people the right thing. We hope we are gaining things like intimacy, self-insight, pleasure, and empowerment. 
All of these myths around sex and virginity can be so hurtful and overwhelming. But here's the one truth you should remember. Sex is defined by one thing and one thing only, you. Maybe that's being fingered for the first time. Maybe it's having anal sex. Maybe it's having your first orgasm. Maybe it's masturbating for the first time or when you enthusiastically consent to sex. That's the beauty of your sexual journey. You're in charge and you can figure it out on your own terms. Choosing to have sex, when, what kind, where, who with, is something that only you get to define. Yeah, that devil. Now let's think about this. That's the problem with saying only you can define. But what happens if my definition is different than your definition? What happens if I think that sex isn't fingers and other stuff, and I do it to you without your consent? Did I just sexually assault you? That's not sex to me. My definition ain't even sex. So if I do it to you, and I don't think it's sex, and you think it's sex, then who right, who wrong? You know, it, it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. It's, it, it, people, these people don't live in reality. Just say you had a girl that had an intimate relationship with your best friend. And you ask her a very simple question. Hey, did you and this person have, you know what? And they go, no, nah, I didn't. Oh, good. Well, hey, that's good. Then you find out they did. And they go tell you, well, I don't consider that because that's not the way I define sex. Come on. Come on. C come on. Y'all stop this mess. But this is what this is what your money is going. The federal government is helping support and fund. And they got these in all the black communities. And you know what? They got a black girl talking. Why don't have a white woman talking? They got a black lady on here talking. Because they pushing this to black people to, to try to teach you that it's okay to be promiscuous. It's okay to, to play around and do all this stuff, having baby daddies and all this. And, and, and if, if something happens and you get w wild and wicked and you, and you do something you ain't supposed to be doing, you can go right over here and, and take care of it. It's all of this. It's all of this. They're targeting black people. Y'all don't get it. It's all in the inner city community. They don't have, I ain't seen a Planned Parenthood not one time in Scottsdale. I ain't never seen, I mean, Northern Scottsdale. I ain't never seen one when I lived in Paradise Valley. I've Guys, we have gone from don't talk about sex in school to promoting sex talk. Like, hmm. Guys, this thing is so shocking, though. Telling kids to have sex and not to mention about the things, about things about uh, STDs, complications, pregnancy. We are literally witnessing the downfall of our society. Hmm. Me, I don't have much to say, oh guys. But all I have to say is that. You may want to see because our mothers. Our fathers, please tell our female upcoming children, teach them about virginity. See, you you being a virgin is a very nice thing, it's a good thing. It makes you to avoid unnecessary things. Because you, you <laughs> it prevents many problems, so seriously it prevents many 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 problems at least it prevents all these stds and the rest of them all these things going up and down it prevents them all these baby mamas dramas and the rest of them it really really prevents them don't allow this social media this media of a thing this parenthood liberation to deceive you to do something that you are not willing to do. To make you do something that you regret at the end. Keep yourself. Like, do you know that your virginity, you keeping yourself, you maintaining yourself, makes you to, to behave morally. Makes you to be, to be yourself. Make you to stand out among others. Seriously, it makes you different from others. I don't even know why. See, in school, in my in just three, when I was in just three, in my in my in my in my in my in my school, like there's a, there's a subject social studies. They taught us sex education. They taught us the dangers 
the disadvantage. Advantage is only to your to your husband. Yes, that's one of the advantages. Only to your husband. Because the, the disadvantage is small. Because it brings about STDs. Yes. Like even even when we're in school, they'll come you know because me I went to a boarding school. Yes, from just one to just three. They taught us things how to avoid sex, sex problem. Even when the man wants to deceive us and the rest of them, we should run for our life. They even told us the appropriate time for you to even have a boyfriend is when maybe when you are 20 or 21 years old. When I when I came to my day school from um SS1 to SS3. It was a boy and girl school, it was a mixed school. So when it's time for like every Wednesday, we talk about personal hygiene, girls matters, boys matters. The girls go to one side, the boys go to one side. The girls one side, you see our female teachers advising us, telling us about dangers of sex, about not having sex, except you are you are you are married. Because hmm, en enough is enough for the is it enough is enough for the wise, Abby? Enough words is enough for the wise. I don't know how that provides visually say, but I don't have enough for what my gender. Gen Z bodies. Don't overdo your Gen Z bodies. You can be a Gen Z and be morally kept. Yes. You can be your Gen Z body and be yourself, but don't overdo it. Yes, don't overdo it to avoid things that you, you regret at the end. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if you literally agree or you are for or against this parenthood regulation of a thing against the uh, virginity and the rest of them. In the comment section, like, watch, and subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.